This is Pac-Man the Board Game, from Buffalo Games. It was around $15 on Amazon, which is why it can be a good gift idea. It was cheap, <laughs> uh, but is it fun? Let's open the box and see what's inside. Two pieces of tape hold the box shut. Oh, once inside, it's a collection of different things. This is the ghost house. It goes in the center of the board. If I'm understanding the instructions correctly, cards determine ghost movement. This is a notepad for keeping score. And here's the main attraction. Pac-Man and the four ghosts. Pac-Man is really cute. Nice job. The ghosts also have a matching theme. They're placed on the game board, which is kind of like a jigsaw puzzle. The four main pieces snap together. If you're having trouble making a piece fit, try reversing the way the piece is inserted. And here's the ghost house in the middle. There's a little bit of dirt on the board. Let's see if it's washable. I gently cleaned it with Windex, and it seemed okay. But I'm not sure if that's a good idea in general, as there are stickers to add to the board. This is the starting location sticker for Pac-Man. I hate this kind of stuff. <laughs> I fuss too much about getting it straight. What do you think? Does that look right? It was even tougher with the 14 circle stickers. That's to show empty spaces. These are the pellets. They're white in the video game, but here they're yellow. Maybe that's to make them easier to spot, because I can see losing these pieces could be a problem. I counted 76 dots on the board, with 19 for each of the four sections. Uh, that's a lot less than the original arcade game, which is okay, as setting up the board is a bit tedious. This is what the pieces look like from underneath. There are only two extra pieces left over. I'll just put the ghosts in their little home. There's not a lot of square footage in that place. No wonder they're so aggressive. <laughs> the game looks awesome. It's Pac-Man in 3D, like Pac-Mania. It's not quite done yet, though. The energizers need to be added. And one of the most important things to do, Pac-Man's battery needs to be activated. If you squish him down, he makes that classic arcade sound. So let's get this game started. There are three dice, which determines how far Pac-Man can move. 14. That was a pretty good roll. And right away, it becomes quite apparent that this game is a little loud. Pac-Man makes a thud as he hits against the game board. So perhaps this game is better to play outside, or where people won't be annoyed by the banging. It does feel like playing Pac-Man though, just a lot slower. <laughs> I don't feel like opening the cards, so I'll just use the one on the bottom. The ghosts can't pass through each other, so that complicates things. Also complicating things are the rules. Does moving out of the ghost house count as one space? I don't know. I suppose that is an important part of board games. Arguing over the rules. <laughs> Pac-Man goes again. Oh, one of the dice hit the floor. That's four plus five and plus six. Fifteen spaces. I'm going to try and collect some extra dots before getting the power pellet. Now that I got an energizer, that card flips over to show an empty space. The rest of the moves are lost. But now I can roll one die to pursue the ghosts. And the number is... One! That was disappointing. Fortunately, I can do this two more times. The next roll is... A five. That's a lot better. One, two, three, four... And Blinky the Red Ghost is in range. Now what happens? It looks like I have to pop out the red eyeballs, and that represents a defeated Blinky. I can roll again. And another one. But that's enough to get Pinky. And now the ghosts go again. While I'm not sure if I'm understanding the rules correctly, this is essentially how the game works. So I'll just use the same numbers as last time. That means Blinky gets to be whole again. Well, he's still a ghost, but at least that's more than a pair of eyeballs. <laughs> and now it's Inky's turn. That's the light blue ghost. And Pac-Man's dead. Beep, boop, 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 boop. Too bad he doesn't make the sound effect for that. Anyway, that's basically the game. Players take turns playing as Pac-Man. The winner is the one with the highest score. 
This seems like it would be a fun online game. So, overall, Pac-Man the board game is nice. The main downsides are that it's kinda loud, the rules are a little tricky to understand, and setting up the game is somewhat tedious. But since the game is inexpensive, quite adorable, and is entertaining, it could be a fun family gift.